And good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Music Free Gaming. All the gaming of those other streams, but none of the music. I hope you're having a fabulous day. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is Saturday, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> it's been a long week. I don't know if it's been a long week for you. It's been a long week for me. It's been almost seven days, and it that is just too long of a week. Okay, so let's, uh, on that strange note, let's uh, go to bed. Because that's what you do. And also, maybe you want to see uh, gameplay. I don't know why you'd want to, but I guess it's better than just looking at me all the time. I don't know. In any case, I'm sitting here in my storage because I was cooking a lot of rock. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to need three chests full of uh, smooth stone, but... You know, you gotta do something with the stone. And who knows, I may come back to this in a minute anyway. Hey, how's it going, Sprite? Welcome, welcome. How'd your Animal Crossing stream go? I stopped in for a, a little bit. I was lurking a bit, but then I had to go take care of some other stuff. Okay, so here we Yeah, hang on. I have to choke to death on nothing, apparently. Oh, I don't know what it was. Ah, something in my throat. That's that's what it is. Ah, yes, that is awesome that you're able to do that. Hello, cow. Okay, so I I did a little diggy diggy time last night, and I've cleared out the mountain. So here, let me fly up here so we can see the glory. An excitement that is an empty castle. So, woot woot. So we got that going for us now. All the fun and excitement. Throw that in there. All right, all right. So here is the plan. Uh, I need to start filling in some walls. And one of the places I need to do that is actually out here. Now, what's gonna happen out here so you can kind of see I've got the skeleton of an outside wall here. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to build up this wall and then uh, put in a put in a gate. And then once that's done, I need to start filling out these walls. And I'm going to build a uh, chapel in here. Ooh, a new Final Fantasy XIV expansion. Nice, nice. That could be fun and exciting. Yep, now, here's the weird thing about this chapel, as I'm thinking about it. This castle is very purple. I guess I'm okay with that. Um, is it's going to be an odd shape, right? Because this wall, this wall is 90 degrees. This is wonderful. That wall is a little obtuse. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. All right. That was an interesting way to fall. I guess it may have been a breeze. This was ending the... Okay. Nice. Nice. It's always fun when you have this long-term story and they finally... Here, there's actually an end to this story. That'll be cool. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not like Final Fantasy isn't known for its long-running stories or anything like that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out some segment of wall here. Also, apparently I've I left a few things just sort of floating around here, which is silly. I was in a hurry. Kind of, you forget things when you're in a hurry, I guess. At least I do. Okay, so I think what I'm going to need here is some blue terracotta. Of course, all of my supplies are over here. I should probably think about moving them. That is not, ah, it's not purple terracotta. It's blue terracotta, but okay, so. I'm probably going to need more of this. 
All right, well, I can do that eventually. All right, so here's how this wall goes. Right, you can see I've got some purple sliding across. Is it? Oh yes, that's right, because 14 had some really funky um, issues when it started, didn't it? Had some, some strange problems and just didn't, I can't remember, was this the one they had to actually remove the, from the market and relaunch it because of how disastrous it was? I forgot, there were a couple of games like that that were, and maybe some that should have been like that, yeah. Okay, nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run this. Okay, that's not what goes. Also, I probably don't need the, my hammer right now. Okay, so I, th I think the way I'm going to approach this, and I'm gonna run the purple down the walls here like this. Care if it says blue, this is purple, and you're not going to change my mind about this. Okay, come on. Upset Daisy. Okay, fortunately, this isn't too far, you know. The game starts now is actually the first expansion. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm actually impressed that it was able to uh, keep going like it did. I mean, you don't see a lot of games that rebound from total failure. Okay, so this is going to hop up this way. And I guess I'll do this one more. All right, now here's the thing. We've got, got this going here. Let's remove this little stretch of stone here because I think this is just wrong. Actually, I know it's wrong, but I should actually do something about it. Okay, let's see how you are going to behave. Seems to. Okay, it's it's fine. It's totally fine. Great. Hmm. All right. What's happening out here now? Because it's hey outside, you know. Yeah, well, that that helps, I think. It's like, yep, we <laughs> we screwed up, and uh, here's how we're going to fix it. Okay, so I think I need to take out some some stone so I can run that color all the way down. Let's let's come over here though. Yeah, if I get some more terracotta. Maybe what I'll do, if I, cause if I'm gonna make the this section of the castle a chapel or something, then maybe what I want to do is put in some some glass and stuff through here. I mean, yes, it is a castle wall, so that might might be an issue, but you know, we'll play with it some. Hmm. All right. Cool. So I'm going to need a lot more terracotta, and that's going to end up being the outside. And I just, if I continue the, the purple up, up top, or maybe hit that with some glass or something. Mm. Speaking of glass, I need an opinion. I'm playing with a... Uh, a, a new connected block texture thing for glass. Is this glass too invisible now? The for the reflected floor. 
I've got a couple of places where I've been kind of wondering. I don't know that I like this texture, and I haven't fully decided yet. It's like, I mean, the refl the the reflection is still there, but you don't see the floor that's doing the reflecting anymore because all of the borders are gone. I think it would look more like this you, you think it looks better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I ran into one spot where it totally fails. Not here. But let me jump over here to my hub. And you come over here to the hockey rink. And the glass, because there are no there are no borders on the glass, it just sort of disappears. Oops. So yeah, it's um I'm I'm still debating whether or not I wanna keep it or not. But I started playing with it yesterday <clears throat> as I was looking at doing some uh can I still have stone here? As I was looking at doing uh, a mod pack for oh yes there's stone All right because i've got a, a bunch of mods client side mods and stuff that i use that uh, i kind of would like to sort of keep organized and make it easier to update and stuff like that so i was looking to see if it was going to be easier to uh roll a mod pack and just make that available just for me um not sure it actually is easier, so you know how that goes, right? All right, so let's grab a bunch of stone. That's probably too much, but hey, you work with what you got, and what I got is a bunch of stone. First, I think I also have a bunch of this already crafted and just waiting for me in this box, but that would be too easy. Also, I do have a little bit more of the uh, cracked stuff, so. Okay. All right, so let's, I'm, I know I'm sort of bouncing around here. Let's, let's take a look at what this is going to be now. All right, so. First off, I've got a couple of places where the wall is already at, so let's go ahead and just bring that down. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be making a, uh, just sort of a, a an angled gate. Okay, so bring this stuff down. Down, yes, down boy. Okay, so I'm going to have a, a gate here. Now, I could actually put it sort of around this side as well. And this is going to be the, the main gate into the castle for the town that's going to grow up over here. Okay, hopefully that makes some a little bit of sense. All right, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of, bunch of dirt removal up here. You know, and let's try this with the shovel. I know, it's, I, I'm breaking new ground here. Or maybe I'm breaking old ground and replacing it with new ground. I, you know, sometimes semantics are hard. Okay, so let's see. We're going to bring this. Uh, wrong button. You know, sometimes I wonder, you know, should I just stop flying? It's confusing. <laughs> oh, you know, I have to, I chuckle about it a little bit once in a while because I've been throwing a bunch of the clips up on TikTok, right? And it seems like every, oh, I'm now trapped in a hole. Uh, it seems about every other video that I post I'm flying or I fall and don't get hurt. It's like, and the question then is like, how did you not get fall damage? It's uh, it confuses people. 
And as much as I'd like to sow confusion amongst uh, the population in general, you know, I guess it's one way to generate comments. I don't know if TikTok cares about comments or not, but, and it's a uh, sorting algorithm, but, you know. Okay, so it looks like, looks like this is going to come down this way, so. Okay, so I've, I've basically designed this wall already to come down at this angle, which is great. I'm now locked out, which is also a thing that happens sometimes, I'm sure. All right, so let's get up here, take out, take out, oh. Well, I was gonna take out some of this extra block, but apparently I don't get to stand up here, so that's not a thing. So I guess I was wrong. I was, diggy diggy time is done. Well, okay, maybe not. It's Minecraft. Have you ever done digging? All right, so this all gets to come out. And then I got to figure out all the other stuff, which I'm sure will be easy to figure out and there won't be any problems and I'll just uh, go at this like I planned it or something. For those of you playing the home game, there, no planning was involved in the creation of this castle. Okay, very little planning was involved in the creation of this castle. I, uh, at one point, I looked at the walls and said, ah, or I looked at the area and said, there should be walls here. Okay, I'm going to throw some of that brick back just because the zero inventory space is becoming a little bit of a problem. Okay, so it looks like I've got wall coming down this way. So part of the reason I'm looking at putting the wall here or putting the gates over here instead of like here is I'm toying with the idea of expanding the storage and bringing it this way. So I may not want to put that gate there. On the other hand, I'm also considering uh, when I expand the storage, turning it and coming this way. So it's basically row of chest here, row of chest here, and then a wall or something behind it. So I could put the gate here and that would be all right too. So it's just a, just a matter of playing with things and seeing what, what's gonna look best. And I don't have answers for any of those things. What I do have is a pickaxe. And that's uh, helpful. And apparently I have flowers and an extra torch. Okay. Now I said, if I really wanted to eat this space up, I could put a, a like a Tango Tech sorter out here, but not sure I want to get that crazy. Really, all of this, the only thing this storage exists for is to store um, stuff. Because that's what storage does. It stores stuff. No, what I needed to store was all of the, uh, all of the blocks and things that uh, I'm, I'm pulling out of here, right? Because, hey, there was a lot of dirt and a lot of stone, and I needed a place to put it. <laughs> so that's that's why this storage exists. This is not supposed to be a fully permanent addition to the build, but not that it couldn't be. It just was not uh, designed for that. Okay, so I've got wall... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. I'm going to fill in. Yeah, so 
fill in and remove the, the details of this wall and then figure out where the gate's going to go. Once I actually have the the, oh, the stuff in place to see what's going where. Okay, and I think I might... No, I think I am going to take out all of this dirt. If only to uh, replace it with stone and stuff later, but... You know, I may terraform that a little bit more, but for now, I want... I want dirt, and uh, or I don't want dirt, and so I will not have it. I will not have it, says I. Okay. Yeah, so the wall is going to come up, so I've got a little bit more of a solid thing there. Cool. Of course, putting the gate here might be good, too. Let's, let's bring this... Hmm. I angled that because that's what the hill did. cool things the square did was to, oh, okay shut down the servers right oh they showed a cinematic <laughs> nice yes we are going away now good luck with that uh yeah the world is ending will you be part of its when it's reborn okay yeah so what i could do here Actually, that would make some sense, is if I square this off. Yeah, and that's... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and square this off. Because what, what will end up happening here is that will give me a really nice gateway into this castle. So, let's do that. I like going with the curve, but there isn't a super need for that curve right there. And I, I think it's going to work better for me if it's not. Well, yes, of course. Square Enix doesn't know how to do things in ways that aren't epic and cinematic. That's just not how they do things. Yeah, I... I have Final Fantasy XV. I need to sit down and make time to play one of these days. just been sitting on my well i was gonna say sitting on the my ps5 but it's not i because i've got the disc and i just i actually might have installed it <laughs> i was at gamestop and uh was thinking you know they're having this really really good sale on games and this is what i've been wanting to play of course that was a year ago and i have yet to play it so you know all right so let's bring this corner down so i know where that is okay well that's fine yes it's okay all right yeah so i think this is going to be good let me go ahead and take out this extra stone that's here oh they made it part of the story okay that makes sense i mean if you're gonna completely shut down and reboot your game that seems like a fun way to do it all right so we'll take that you know I like flowers, but I like them to uh, not be in my inventory. Every once in a while, it's like, yep, th this is what bundles are for. Yeah, we're looking at the right keys. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so if I so I've got wall coming here in this section. Right, that's going to look cool. Okay, so you can see 
the uh, the the skeleton of this wall here coming along with this whatever this is I think wall would be the word for it and uh, yeah 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 and then coming into the main gate here that's gonna look good I think that's gonna be slick as heck so we'll clean that out. All right, so let's come down here. I think what I want to do is let's bring in some of this stone. And I'm going to just run some stone down here. I may have to replace some of this granite, but... I also want to take some, uh, some stone brick, and actually let's grab some of the cracked as well. Actually, what would be good here, too, would be a little bit of the mossy, but I don't have any right now. I could go craft some, but that would involve, you know, doing stuff. I can't have that now. Doing stuff. Pshaw. Okay, so we'll just do this. And put another cracked one in there like that. Some more stone. Yeah, let's take out this granite. And I'm going to just, just throw in a little bit of stone brick here as well. It's kind of like, yes, there are, we fully admit we have uh, reinforced this section of the mountainside. Okay. Same showcase dig. Okay, yes. Future proofing some of the combat math. Okay. Causing overflow issues. Yes. Yeah, nothing like. Uh, Integer overflows to make your game do well. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to come out here. and Throughout most of this, I'm going to I'm have to come replace a lot of this dirt with some other things. But but I think that's going to be good. I'm just going to leave this sunken ship here. I like it. I like it. It's lovely. It's so lovely. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to just throw in some random stone here, partly for texture. Um, actually, mostly for texture. Or lack thereof. A bot 45 million HP? Okay, that seems a little excessive. I, you know, it's like pinball, you know? We're not going to give you like four points. We're going to give you four million points. <laughs> what was I? No, I had a I had a pinball game on the PS2 that I really liked playing, and it had a some some really old school tables. But one of them was like one of the original early super pinball tables or something and this table yeah it gave you points in ones and tens right that's how old it was but i think one of my daughters managed to get the ball trapped in a way that it just racked up like a million points if this had been a real table it would have uh it would have rolled the score i'm sure which was kind of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead. And so just just bring some stone in. Just uh, hopefully try to get this in in some reasonable fashion. Okay, and I want this to be somewhat. Something, something, something. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's looking pretty good. I think I need to add a little bit of stone coming out over this way. So let's, let's bring this, bring a little bit of stone like this just to, yeah, just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of texture, a little bit of break in the, the action here, right? 
so it doesn't look quite so, you know, boring. That's the word I'm looking for. I know the word boring. It's not as if it has ever applied to me, but I, uh, I think I've heard it before. So, just bring this across this way. Okay, so, so yeah, this is going to work out fine, I think. In fact, I think I want to throw in a little bit of uh, stone here as well. Okay. I don't know that I need to throw in quite as much cracked stone as I'm doing, but... Also, a little bit of uh, cobble might not go amiss in a cup in some of these places, you know. Though I don't know that I want this wall to be quite that ruined looking, so maybe not. Okay, so here we go. Finishing up this section. And then I'll move to the inside wall, and then I can start taking a look at what the, this gate is going to work like. Ack! That's not where that goes. I mean, not even a little bit. <sighs> okay. The, the, oh, the expansion. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I I hope it I hope it's good. I mean, I'm Square Enix has been doing some awesome stuff just over the years. You know, I think I think the first Final Fantasy game I ever played was Final Fantasy X, which was uh, which was really fun. Didn't like Ten Part Two, and I didn't like um, Twelve very much. I've actually been tempted to pick up the 7 remaster, or not remaster, but reboot that they're doing. Because that's, that looks like it could be fun. Oh. That's not where it goes at all. I've I never played Final Fantasy 7, so it could be an interesting, interesting thing to jump into. Also, I think, thinking of jumping into things, let's uh, jump into bed. Because that'll be fun. Alright, so I think I'll throw in some stone around here too. Because it's... Yeah, let's just throw in a random stone shape here. Just to uh, keep the wall from being quite as flat. I mean, it's still two-dimensional, but, you know, sometimes you just have to work within the limits that you have, and sometimes you don't even get that third dimension. You just have to be there, all flat and boring-like. Okay, see. So I'll just run this uh, down this way. So if, what I'll do is I'll get as I get this wall in. This will be the basic shape, and then I'll start to look at. Oops, come on. Start to look at what do I actually want to do for the gate. Now, and do I potentially want to have multiple gates? I had a as I was looking at that corner. I'll show you here in just a sec. Let me get this walled in. One of these, oh, so apologetic. Okay, yeah. I can understand that. I, honestly, working, especially given the history of Final Fantasy XIV, I think working would probably be the way to go there, you know? Okay, so this I'll have to fill in and do stuff with. But, so here's what I'm thinking. Right, so I've got, I was thinking of coming in with a gate here, and maybe a gate here. Now, there is some 
logic uh, from a castle building perspective to forcing a sharp turn to get into your gate. And that logic is you can't just come up here with a battering ram and charge and hit the gate. You have to turn, and that leads to a press of people here and makes it very easy to then kill them, which is sort of the point if uh, you're having people attack your castle, you kind of want those attackers to be dead at some point in the preferably uh, sooner rather than later. Okay. Now, we're going to just pretend that grammar actually uh, happened in that sentence and, you know, go with it. Okay, so I, I think... Uh -oh. Okay, so let, let's just go ahead and... Let's just get the wall in. And then I'll figure out where I'm going to put the gate when that's there. So I've got a lot of stone here. I'm just going to... I'm going to continue the stone just a bit, like this. Ah, nice. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun, I'm sure. Eh? It's always, you know, I never used to really care much about DLC for games and stuff. It's like, okay, you know, why did you just re release the complete game? Ha <laughs> ha! Because I'm a fool. Is uh, and what I ran into is, uh, oh, hey, Minecraft. I get unrealistically excited for new Minecraft updates. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. I think this is floor level. So, yeah, I'm getting to understand. Now, it would look cool to have the gate here. But I said, for from a strategic standpoint, having it here isn't a bad thing either. And from a, hey, I want to get to my stuff standpoint, that's not necessarily a bad thing there either. So, on the other hand, everything's funneling down here anyway. That This wall is going to go all the way to the top. I could cover it and put um, kill holes and stuff here. Character is going to the moon. All right. Well, hey. It's nice to have goals, right? All right, so it looks like we've got ourselves an odd-sized gate, which can be interesting. Okay, now... I've got this gate over here. I might want to do something along those lines here as well. So, let's see. I've got some smooth stone. I was talking about why would I ever need so much smooth stone. Well, here's a reason. But I'm fairly certain it's in this chest here. Ah, yes, there it is. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, all right. Yep. You know, lunar fantasies. There aren't enough of those. You know. Okay, do I, how do I want to do this? Well, there are some... Odd numbers are nice, because you can do good things with arches and stuff. It gets to be a problem if you want to have French doors. Okay, not, it's not a huge deal, but, you know... It's still, you know, a thing. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out this. Let's... All right, and I want to come in with some... Oh, all right, well, I'm going to... Slap the smooth stone there, but I'm... I'm trying to decide if I actually want to replicate this gate to some extent right so so there was this guy here so it's nice it's a lovely gate 
I don't have this much room, right? Because this guy is, what, four, eight, what, 12, 15 blocks wide? Something like that. I don't have that. I've got, you know, eight, I think, or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I don't have, I don't have that much space. Now, that's not to say I couldn't come in here and still throw in the color and do lots of other things. Which I probably should. I'm just not entirely sure how I want to do that. Alright, I think I want to not have that there. So I think what I want to do is I want to match that the theme, but not match the port. The portal, right? So I need, okay, it says, how many of my shulkers can I pick up? Hopefully all of them, but, you know. Oh, what do you know? And might as well bring the crafting table, too. Not that it's going to make a whole lot of difference, since uh, I have a crafting table right over here anyway, but, you know, sometimes you just want one close. All right, so let's grab the shulkers. Hi, it's moving day. I am moving the shulkers. And using this very convenient uh, shelf, right? Nothing says convenience like a beacon. All right, so let's come in here. One of these boxes, of course, I've now shuffled them and I don't know where anything is. All right, so let's grab some blue. <sighs> yeah, yeah, okay. So if I, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna take some, oops. You know, it helps if you actually click on stuff completely. Move that. Just light level. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Should probably throw a little extra light out this way. Now that I'm putting a, an open door, I should probably try to have at least some form of crowd control out here. Of course, one thing I might do, too, is just throw an iron golem out here, too. Just, for, just to help catch the strays that come through. Also, I think I've managed to stumble onto a uh, slime chunk in my storage area, which is interesting. I don't really need another slime spawner, but it's right about where I was going to move my creeper farm to, so I might take advantage of that. I'm not entirely sure how, but, you know. Somehow I will do that. Maybe. Eventually. When I'm not doing anything else, you know. Your vault has a slime chunk in it. Nice. I managed to miss it, but just barely. Like, here. So I've got... Oops, that's the wrong place. Home. Hub. Typing. Typing is a skill I will never master. Alright, so... I have a fairly small vault... And it turns out, you know, it's, it's right over here. Well, it also turns out that right next to it is the uh, slime chunk, right? So I've, I've got a small vault, nothing crazy. And it seems like I don't really have slime chunks here. I was just clearing out, you know, stone for resources and stuff. And discovered this slime chunk. So, you know, I've been having a uh, slime problem and that I don't have enough of it. So, now I'm getting a little bit. I think Manda's got a slime problem in hers, her chunk as well. Ooh, you know what we 
might be interesting. Oh, it's not there. There is. Um, let's see. I've got. I've got on the some of the outer walls. I'll put that there. And I need to fill in some of those gaps. Uh, this is a big wall. All right, so I've got on some of these outer walls, right? These shield shapes. I might want to see if I can bring some of those over here. Now, I think I'm going to put put some of those on uh, almost certainly this wall and probably this wall. How do kids have so much energy? They have yet to realize the futility of life. No, um, <laughs> I understand we're like little kids. They have adult size energy in a really small package. But honestly, I don't know. Um, okay, so. I just want to bring this down so I've got some visual of what this is going to be doing here. Okay. So eight. Yep. Eight's a good... That's a good age for energy. Okay. So if I do it this way... Try not to make it look like a giant middle finger, huh? Okay, see, that's not too bad. And then if I were to do something cool, which um, is always an interesting question. Can I do something cool? Do I have that capacity? Sometimes the answer to that question is yes. I've got leaves. Um, I've got some leaves and I think I have some glowstone i have some leaves and the glowstone is all gone oh there it is <laughs> i found it all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out and take out these and i'm going to do a couple of things here first Ooh, um glass now when i built the uh, come on one of these has glass. I know it does. Or it doesn't and... Okay, there's some blue. It's awesome. Okay. Right, it meant... Yes, well... Sometimes it's just not knowing that you should stop. <laughs> I guess may be the... The other side of it, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a couple of those. I'm going to slap the glowstone. Oops, that was wrong. I do want the leaves there, but I also want the... Uh... Ooh, there's an... I've, I've, I have an idea. I watched... Who was I watching? Uh, maybe my puppy, Taylor, who uh, did this cool deal with... Uh, Really cool design with a filled cauldron and then blue glass over it. I may have to uh, frantically steal her idea. Okay, so if that comes up that way. Yeah, and let's take out... Yeah, I like the green coming up here. It's just in the... There's just some stuff here so because i can i can play with this wall i couldn't play with that one quite as much as i wanted to but this wall i think i can play with all right so if i come in like this and yeah so bring that up that way And let's put some leaves here and leaves here. And I think I'm almost out of leaves, but I also think I want to do some 
put some other stuff in there. Okay. I'm not 100% sure I want those there, and I'm fairly certain I do not want these ones here. So, so let's take these two out. And I'm gonna replace those. Put in some leaves here. Okay, great. So now I have leaves and they are lovely. Okay, so now how do I want to do this? So I've got light coming there. Let's take out those blocks and let's put in some I guess I can put in the glowstone I'm not entirely sure I want it right there but when you're down below you can't see it anyway since uh, no one is really going to be flying around here right sure okay so we'll go and take that out Slap the glowstone in there like that. Now this one I can't. Well, actually, I can. I was gonna say I can't take it out. There's a block there. But as I look at this, maybe I can. Okay. Ooh. Uh, hmm. I seem to be in a hole. You ever have that problem where you're suddenly in a hole? Just like, how did I end up in this hole? Well, you know, holes happen. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like that I can see the glowstone. I want the light, but I don't want the glowstone. I don't want to. I don't want to see it. And unfortunately, I can. Okay, so let's take this out. All right. So how do I make it so I? These ones I think are okay. I mean, kind of, sort of, but no, I'm going to take those out too. Because, yeah, I like the, because uh, oh, like this, I want, I want to have the light shining here. Okay, let's do this. Let's take out the leaves. I'm sorry, leaves. It's time for you to go. You must leaf. Okay, I will see myself out. All right, so get these. I had meant to put blue glass in there. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. So I think what I'm going to do is steal Taylor's design here. And I'm going to uh, put the cauldrons, put full cauldrons under there with uh, blue glass. Now, the thing with uh, cauldrons is they are transparent. So wait a minute, they're not transparent. I can see through them. Yes, you can, and I can not actually see through them which is the how i was trying to say that and that actually makes more sense than what i actually said uh but no you can't you, you can't see through them but they are transparent to light in minecraft so i can slap them there and they will be all bright and shiny all right so let's make some room and grab some iron yeah, my iron chest is a little bit low at the moment, because at least this one. Uh, because I made I was I made a zillion and a half shears just to load up my uh, honeycomb farm. Just it's one of those things I've been meaning to do for a while, and since I was sort of just tooling around yesterday, not really doing anything, but yeah. Okay, so if I, let's put these in. I like this idea. Okay, so put that in there. Put that there. Yes, I think I like where this is going. Okay, I may have to, there's another, oops, that's not right. 
do like how it splashed out even though even though there was no water in it. But that's okay. Let's see. Grab the tool chest so I can get some. Uh, grab a couple of buckets here. There's water here somewhere. I really should set up like an infinite water source just near me rather than having to jump in the ocean every time. But that's okay. Okay, so those will go in there like that. <clears throat> I will run this way. Okay, yeah, so this I think is going to... <clears throat> I think this is going to look really good. So we'll slap those in there. And then what I'm going to do is take some blue glass and load up on top. Put these buckets away. All right, so I'm going to just run this blue glass here. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to provide a little bit of light and a little bit of color. All right. Take that out. Okay, so now I could just continue the glass in front of the stone. I guess that would be a thing. Maybe if I, ooh, let's, let's do this. I've got some shroom lights. I also have some honey. The shroom lights, it's a because it's this orange instead of the yellow. Yellow and brown stuff, which is sort of gross. I think I'm gonna put some shroom lights here. And what I'm gonna do is let that let that uh, orange stand out just a touch. So let's grab some of these slabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the slab on top there like that. Okay, again, the wall, the regular wall is going to come back behind that. And then what I could do is maybe a little bit of fun styling back behind there, but... Now I can, if I wanted to, push this back into this area a little bit. Because I'm thinking I, I may put a one of those shields here, which is going to push into this wall here a couple of blocks. But given how relatively narrow this space is, I, I might not, too. So I'll, it's one of those things I'm going to have to play with. All right, so let's go ahead and put the glass in here like this. All right, so those will go there, just sort of capping the those towers, right? Got this blue here. Oops, uh, missed a slab. That goes there like that. Very good. What if I take some purple? Hmm. I kind of, I kind of like that. I mean, the, this uh, blue terracotta is an excellent color, but let's, let's throw some. Just fill this wall in behind it here a little bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe I want to put a little bit of something uh, hanging out over that, too. I'm not entirely sure. So as I'm looking at this, maybe I want to take out the... Uh, no, I don't want to take out the stone and replace it with water. It would, it would look cool, but this is supposed to be a gate. And in theory, the gate can close... It doesn't actually, but 
It could, theoretically. And that's... That's a thing. All right, so what if I were to... Do a little bit of something. Let me take this out. There we go. I'm just thinking that I may want to do a little bit of something in there, but I guess let's just focus on one side of the gate at a time. Now what I could do is I could push Okay, so I've got different color, and part of the thing is I don't want, if I'm going to put light back here, I don't want it to, I want it, I want it to highlight stuff, but I don't want it to be visible, you know? Okay, this is fine. I want that to be visible. I want that to, to shine forth and be great and some, something, something. But what if I were to come in here like this? I want to put in some blue glass on the sides here. All right. I'm going to put some blue glass there. I'm going to come under it with... Uh, let's continue the shroom light just so we have the same, same color. So if, it, so if it seems visible... Okay, now I'm going to hide it from this side. Okay, sort of like I've done there. So what I'll do is I'll come in with these uh, the smooth stone, right? In this, so this is going to come down this way, like that. Okay. Okay, my wall is now doing really, really odd things that might be okay. Maybe. We shall see. Because it's kind of pushing out this way a little bit. Which isn't bad, but it's definitely a, a thing. Okay, so what if I then come up here? I'll put slabs on top of these. Like that. Actually, this isn't a bad idea. Uh, let's take out the terracotta, though. And I'm going to put the slab right on top of it instead. Why is this not a bad idea? So, do you remember what the inside of what the throne room looks like? Right? So, let's, let me race over there and show you. Oops, which is over here. Because I can't get enough of looking at the throne room anyway. Right? But you can see it's got this sort of angled smooth stone. It's got the blue and the, the honey and all that stuff like that. Right? Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking part of this design and applying it to the wall. Or applying it to the gates over here. Okay. So... Right, so you can kind of see how it's sort of shaping down this way. And then what I can do... Uh, I should probably take that glass out, actually. Hmm. Yeah. No. Yes, I should take the glass out. Hi! I don't know what I'm doing. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, now I'm bl blocking this shroom light off a lot, but all right, but we'll we'll see. I may end up just taking the shroom light out completely, but we'll start here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. And yeah, we'll go that far at least. Okay, um, and let's, yeah, 
bring it right down there like this. So basically what this is doing is it's replicating some of the uh, some of the throne room design on the gate. Okay. That cow is just asking to be dead. You could hear it. Kill me. Kill me. Eat me for dinner. You know, that that's just what cows sound like. I think I want to bring this one up. Eh, do I want to bring it up more? I think I I think I do, but I might be out of terracotta. Oh, that could be a problem. Uh yeah. This is in fact a problem. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to uh casually steal from another part of my build for a minute. I'm going to stick this right here. Okay, yeah, see, that's a little bit better. And in fact, I may even want to uh, <clears throat> slide it out a little bit more. But yeah, I like that. Okay, okay, so... Nice. So that's going to look good. Now, I don't think I want to completely do the whole mirror thing that I did before, but... All right, so we've got... This is coming this way. So let's come in here with... Uh, some of the stone brick. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to leave, oh, what if I were to then come in with, right, if I put something there, it's going to be visible through this, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. What if I take some of the blue and let's take this out, replace it with the blue? Okay. All right, now, oh, 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 what might, here's um, something. Since it looks like I'm coming out of this wall just a little bit anyway, what if I were to get some, grab some glowstone, grab some honey, there we go. What if I just stick some, Glowstone and honey here. Glowstone. Grab the honey. Like that. Okay. And now, this is the... Uh, this will be sort of that same design I've got on the antechamber over there. Alright, so let's grab some stairs. And let's grab... a few stone brick walls, okay? This may or may not matter, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so let's grab these stairs. All right, so the stairs are gonna come in like this. Okay, and it, it again, it's the same the same sort of pattern we've got over there. I'll, I can then cover up this with uh, some trap doors, which I might actually still have a few of those. Yep. Look, I have a few. I think 18 qualifies as a few. Okay. You are in the wrong place. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I will continue to beat you with your friend until you break. Because that's how life works. I could pull out an axe, but I'm having more fun beating you with your friend. 
Okay, so that's gonna go there like that. See, I'm not at all creepy or anything like that. It, it's fine. There is no creepiness around here at all. Okay. So it's gonna take those out and go ahead and take out the those shroom lights because they're not gonna be a thing. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's doing okay. So I, I think I wanna get some more blue terracotta and just sort of fill around that a little bit. Cause I wanna bring, I want the, I wanna, this block at least to have some purple, but I think these ones as well, just to uh, continue that color up and around that way. All right, so now on this side, All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> I was gonna put some some blue there, but actually, let's do one of these boxes. There it is, some honeycomb. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of honeycomb and drop it in here uh, I want it okay yeah I think I do want it behind okay which is gonna no shoot it's gonna cause problems here too I guess it doesn't have to cause problems here. As I said, I can bring this out this way however I want to. All right, so I can, let's just run this honeycomb this way. Okay, now, it comes through there, which is good, which is good. Um, and now let's take some stairs. Well, actually, let's try the slabs first. I was going to try some smooth brick stairs, but let's uh, let's just throw some slabs across there. All right, that's that's working. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that is working. All right. So now I need to deal with. I'm going to be expanding some of the purple around that way, but, you know, honestly, it's not too bad. I could even, actually, this might be a better idea, is take out this, run the uh, blue terracotta all the way down. I won't have quite the uh, light and color, but I kind of like the idea. Yeah, take that. Hmm. So I'm looking at this. I don't quite like how this blue is. Okay. Honestly, actually that works. It gives um Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go ahead and take out this uh, glass. Oops, probably the cauldrons as well. <sighs> All right. Well, this is why you play with it, because the plan doesn't always work, and that's okay. Do I have inventory space? I have not inventory space. Which I suppose is fine. I can change that. Okay. So we'll take out these cauldrons. Take out, oops, well, gone a little deep there, my friend. Just a left, just a touch. Just a word that I really literally did mean to say, but didn't. All right, so we'll bring that in like that, and let's... So there will be a little bit of light shining there, which is just fine. 
So now as I'm looking at it, Okay, I want to change that. I do. All right, so this is going to come out. I could grab my hoe, but I don't have it on right handy, so I won't. <clears throat> so let's, let's replace this. I'm going to do the, the honey glowstone. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So let's take out the shroom light. <clears throat> Okay, put in honey. Gonna take that out, put in the glowstone. And what I'll do is put that there. And I'm gonna take these blocks, run them down like this. Okay, now I'm gonna take a quick nap and we'll play a little bit more with what's happening here. Okay, so this is gonna come in like that. Um, yeah, now unfortunately, the stone walls, they don't bind to the, to the honey, so. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but I can I can deal with that. Okay, so let's see now. Again, I've got I've got that I can work with uh, color wise too. So or you know style wise anyway. Let's go and put the blue away. One of these boxes, I thought I had to I put the shroom light in. Probably the one, ah, so it's the one I'm not looking in. That's the one. Okay, let's put these up here like this. And I think, go ahead and put the stairs across. Actually, yeah, we'll do it that way. Almost, almost. And what I want to do is find my box here. That had all of that green stuff. There it is. Box o green stuff. And I'm gonna take out these. I'm gonna take out these stairs. And I'm gonna replace them with blocks. Okay, so that, those are going to go there like that. Now, in fact, I think what I want to do is take out this whole column. Okay, so that whole column of blocks is coming out. These guys are going to come down this way. No. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to come this way so I can look and remember what it looks like. Remember these dragons? What if I kind of sort of do something similar over here? Oops, now I need the axe. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so what if I... I don't know that I'm going to go quite that crazy, but... All right, let's go make some fence. Hello, fence. I have found you, and you are mine now. You are mine, and you are here to fulfill something. Okay, so those will go there. Go like that. And then what I could do is I could put the uh, tops like that. Okay, it's not quite, <clears throat> not quite what I'm, 
obviously they're smaller, so it's not the same dragon style I had before. But uh, I think I want to take this out. At least take let's take those out. Now the honey, or the honeycomb. It is visible here, which is fine. But actually, maybe I'll just leave it. As, I, as I'm looking at that now, I'm actually okay with how that looks. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I do need some more terracotta to fill out this... Uh, almost looks like a shadow, but... Just sort of that purple. I'm not going to make it a solid purple wall. That I think would be a little much. But having it come up and around the the gates, it's going to look great. And then, because then when you come in and go into the throne room and it matches that, that's going to be that's going to be good. All right. Now, do I want to? Drop something here. I kind of do, but I'm not entirely sure what. I could do the cauldron at lights there. Which would definitely work. The other option. What if I were to take some... Polished blackstone wall. That is not polished blackstone wall. I mean, it kind of sort of looks nothing like it, but... Ooh. That's interesting. And then what if I were to take these cauldrons? Is that right? I'll uh, figure this out. I can fix this. Okay. All right. So what if I were to do light source cauldron? All right. Fill this in. Now that's obviously looking just a touch hollow. So let's go grab a bucket. Hello, my bucket friend. I'm just going to do the one because I want to see what it looks like before I commit to the other side. That's right. That's right. You heard me. I'm afraid to commit. I mean, sure, I've been married for over 20 years, but still. Not not super thrilled with that. Ah, here's another idea. Let's take that out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gravel. Because who needs gravel anyway? Gravel is stupid. It is is not good. And where did I put the cauldron? So, okay. It's like, wait a minute. I should have two of those in my inventory. What's, what is wrong? All right. Now somewhere here, because I was a little bit crazy, I built a whole slew of grindstones. Maybe I dropped them in the overflow over here. I did. Aha. What do you know? So what if I were to put these right here like this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. And let's do... Ah, this is going to look cool. Okay. I'm going to hop down here for a minute. The gravel is not invited. It needs to go elsewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to uh, first replace the stone. Okay, now I'm going to take this glowstone and some honey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run glowstone all down here like this. Take some honey, drop it in here, and then I'm going to replace my divots. Okay, fill this in. All right. Ooh, now isn't that a cool look? All right, so now let's take some smooth stone. And I'm going to uh, replace a bunch of this here. Okay, basically this whole row like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I think all the way to the dragon tails. Okay, and just run this this way. All right, fill in the gap. There we go. All right. Cool. And so now what we have is a gate, and it looks like that this will close, like on rollers or something. I could even craft a bunch coming across this way, but I think I'm okay. I think I am. So let's take these torches out. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of darkness as I come out this way, and that's Okay for now. Okay. All right, but the gate itself is lit and I can put in some, I don't know, some overhanging lights or something here. So I am gonna throw a roof over this, right? You can, cause you can see this section of castle wall comes this way, okay? And it's gonna come all the way up top. This section of castle goes this way. So what I'll do is I'll roof it over and then put, basically, uh, I can put kill holes, you know, looking down. So that if, if somebody were to breach this, breach the city here and decide to charge into the castle through this, gate uh these guys up here can just sit and plink at them all day pour lava down on them we can do all sorts of good stuff so all right that's that's good i like this okay, I'm gonna turn those off and i like this i like that look it's the just the the golden glow underneath i'm not 100% satisfied with this, and I don't know what I can do to improve it. Because I could put in, I could put in more wall. Okay, that would definitely work. All right, I could, I could, and maybe that's the thing. And it, it'll show the blackstone wall there, though, so that's not quite how I wanted to do it. Hmm. Yeah, there's something there I need to sort out, and I'm not entirely sure what yet, but for now, let's sleep. Let's sleep and see what else we got going on here. Okay, so what we have here is... Uh, a little bit of a problem. That's right, come get some. Oh, he did. He totally came and got some. And then he shot back, and it hurts. I know, I'm sad. I totally don't need to pick up his bones. Though having a little bit extra bone meal isn't a bad thing. I really don't need his arrows. 
Oh, look. Drowned. Okay, no. No, no, no. That'll teach you. Silly creepers thinking they can be all, you know, creepy. Alright, drop off this gravel real quick. And let's see now. Okay, so I do need to get the terracotta to finish the walls, but, or to finish this door. In fact, what I uh, need to, uh, I just need to go get a bunch to finish all of the, all of this wall off too. Because I think what I want to do is run the blue terracotta along the top here as well. Just along this wall, along that wall, and, you know, it'll be all wallish, right? Sure, that's a word. That is 100% a word. I am convinced. Marginally so. Alright, so all of that's going to go in there. Just because. Well, that is a storage box for it, so, you know. Alright, so let's go ahead and... You know? Um sort of thinking that all of this storage makes zero sense. And that, you know, that's probably my fault. I suspect. You know, it's just... Uh, <sighs> okay. Well... All right, where was that box that had all the green stuff? There it is. All right, well, let's move that. Welcome on to Badly Organizing with Pearl Stalker. Today, you get to see bad organization. All right, that's fine. I'm go drop this stone and this dirt off. And then I think what I need to do is go take a quick bathroom break. And uh, then go get some terracotta. Okay, I think that's that's going to be the way to go here. So, all right. Well, then, let's, let's do that. Um, where do I want to... I guess I'll do it here in the storage. So I will be right back. I'm going to drop an ad for those of you who uh, enjoy those things. And I will be back in just a moment.
Okay. All right, I am back. See, look, I'm back, and now I can even see. <laughs> that's a, that's just lovely how that works. All right, so I need to go get some terracotta. So let's head to the quarry. Okay, so unfortunately you can't just mine blue, so you get like gray, but uh, not blue, so. Of course, I should have checked to see if somebody was there, but. That's all right. It's all right. We'll just get uh, a little bit of terracotta, whip over, grab some blue dye. Oh, come on. Fly, baby, fly. Okay, so we'll get all this lovely terracotta. At least I don't have to smelt it, you know? All right, got it. We got it. Great. Okay, dump that. Just flush it just to be sure. All right, and now let's uh, jump to the mall. Because over here, oh, I actually need to take a moment too and slay a few rabbits, but uh, what do I have? There's blue dye. Also, do I have some emeralds? No, I had been uh, stashing a few emeralds here just for the uh, quick and dirty purchases, you know. But, all right. So, just grab all the lapis. Okay, I think that's the end of that. Cool. Turn all that into dye. Turn all this into blue. Perfect. That uh, worked out really well. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. You're wonderful, as always. Um, and again, while I'm here, I really should kill some rabbits. Are you all grown up yet? Oh, no, they're still little. Those are still bunnies. I don't want to kill bunnies. <sighs> All right, fine. Fine, the bunnies live. You hear that, chat? I am not killing the bunnies. Not for the lack of desire, but because they're bunnies and they don't give me anything. Ack! <sighs> that was the wrong tool. It was. It was absolutely the wrong tool. All right. Fabulous. All right. So that goes there and there and there. That was the... Uh... See, I need to pay more attention to my tools. Actually, the other thing I need to do is go hunt up some uh, netherite. So I can netherite Mr. Softy. That'll make him a little bit more distinctive, you know? Okay. I think that's... Oops. Well, I'm now a lot further... A lot further down than I had it planned. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, so, yep, that's better. That is much better. And actually, we'll be up at this level. So, yeah. If someone were to walk across. Yeah, that looks great. And then we get this uh, wall back here closing. And if I were actually going to be dealing with all of the redstone and making the doors close and all that stuff. Um, I felt something weird on my hand. 
Um, yeah, I would be pushing these closed and I'm not doing any of that. And that is okay. <clears throat> okay, so, great. Okay, so, so I have a gate. Congratulations to me. Successful gates since, uh, whenever. All right, so let's grab this and let's grab some, uh, grab some stone brick. All right, and what I'm gonna do here is fill out this wall the way it's supposed to be. Okay, because th this is the next step. So I've got the gate. The next thing I want to do is um, stuff. Actually, I should replace that too. Okay, so that can go there, that can go there. Okay, so we'll just replace a bunch of this stuff, you know. Oh, do I have stone? Not on me, but I've got a bunch of chests over here, so let's get some of that. Hang on a moment. Ah, oh, man. I just love it when uh, my own body decides, you know what, you don't need to talk anymore. Maybe that's a sign. Gets to the point your own body tells you it doesn't want to listen to you anymore. Uh, you know, you've got some issues. <clears throat> okay, so some of this is going to come out. <clears throat> right, that's coming out. Got a shovel here somewhere. Should have put the shovel there. Put it in my offhand for ease of access. Okay, all right, so that's all coming in there like that. This is wall that should not be here. This is extra material, so it comes out. Ah, that's not right. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull all this stuff in here like that. <clears throat> and I'm I just need to now fill out this uh, fill out this little monster. <clears throat> okay, right, so all of those are coming that way. You know, maybe I want to drop a little bit of stone right there. Okay, basically any place where this uh, this section of wall would come down and is visible here. I'm just going to take all of this out and replace this with terracotta. All right, so that this, so that it looks like the wall comes down and it's been painted or whatever. Basically, I'm just going to bring the style down. Which is typically how clothing happens for me. I just bring the style down. Okay, here's the next question. Am I going, going to sneeze? So that's the, uh, and the answer is yes. Ah, it's like, okay, do I, should I put up a poll? Will I sneeze? Okay, so. It's, what's the new prediction thing that Twitch has that you can turn on? Will I sneeze? Yeah. The... Okay, so. Just, uh... Ah! Well, I guess I go clean up that mess. Fortunately, I have Lagos paper towels, so that'll clean up those uh, unwanted accidents. Unexpected messes. Let's 
for those of you who watched WandaVision. And it's not a spoiler, that's the commercial. Though I suppose the commercials could be spoilers depending on what they do. But Okay. All right, cool. So that's coming down like that. Now I'm going to leave, I'm going to use a different color here. And do I want to do, I could just do the purple terracotta up top here too. That would be okay. Basically this castle has no consistency. You know, parts of it, it's, it's, uh, Painted every other row like with terracotta. Other parts, it's got designs on it. You know, it's just whatever they sort of felt like to at the time. You know, they, they let their artistic, you know, whims take over. And now they've got many different styles of things going on in their castle. That's right. It's it's symbolic. That's that's exactly it. Nobody knows. Oh, sure. This is a symbol of the uh, the alternating nature of of people's whims. Right? That's what that is. Yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah. Actually, there are a couple of other designs I may want to. Go copy elsewhere. Because I've got... Um, I have one really cool glazed terracotta sort of like... almost like a rosette out on the uh, outside of the castle. And it looks really cool. So, let me... I think I want to copy that in a few other places here. And it looks really good because it, it's so it's, it's backed by this purple terracotta. It's just the regular stone uh, wrapped around it. And then it's got some... Heck, I can show you. Because it's, it's right over here. Right. Right, so it's that sort of thing. And it looks really cool. Oops, hang on. Oh, I'm going to... For some reason, my watch didn't charge last night, so let's put that back in there and let it let it do its thing. Okay, but yeah, so this is just a cool on, charge. Or don't. Hang on, let me. Uh, technology, it is weird. It. Uh, does things to your mind. It warps your perceptions and makes you think stupid things. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Let me just. Uh, oh, I'm just going to fall down and that's going to be good too. Finish this up. It's gonna be great. You know what might be fun sometime? What would be fun? It's to build a building, but then try to implement all your misplaced blocks. Oh. You have to keep all of your mistakes? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to learn your so you can do that. Okay. Huh. That would be an interesting challenge. It's what I might want to do in creative, but that would be a really interesting challenge. You have to keep all of your mistakes. Hmm, that would be fun. I could see all sorts of weird things coming from that. Okay. Okay, so I will be the first to admit that actually kind of looks cool. I need a different color here because I don't want it to be all the same. That would just be too, 
too crazy. Um, like the blue concrete? It's an idea. Let's take a look. I happen to have some blue concrete. Not a, I don't have a lot with me, so if I, if this looks good, I'd have to uh, replace it. But I could also go with some like black as well. But let's take a nap here real quick, though, before we go experimenting with it, and just see how that looks. You know, in this. Uh, So if I were to come through here with blue, then. All right, so. Okay. Okay. Got to replace a uh, brick here. All right, what do you think? Let's try some over here where it's uh, where I've got a little bit more of the terracotta. So we'll come up, there's the concrete, there's the terracotta, and what do you think? Um, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not 100% sold on the color, but I think I can go with it. Oh, what if I come in here too with part of it and... Let's experiment a little bit. Let's come in here and grab some honeycomb. And what if I come in here every few stacks and throw in some honeycomb? Okay, so we'll drop that in there. I don't think that's going to work. I'm just looking at this, and that just seems a little bit too... It's too much of a new color, is what it is. So, I like the honeycomb. Uh, but... Plain terracotta. Okay. That might work. All right, well, let's get the honeycomb out of here first, assuming I can... I forgot what's... Maybe it's an axe would be the right tool for this, but... Whoa, okay. All right, we're good. All right, too much, too much, too high. Okay, so that, can, that goes there. So what about the, uh, okay. Let's see, let's see. What if I were to come in here then with something? So not that. So just the plain terracotta. Now this might work, but it also might just be, again, one extra color that isn't necessary. Um, I don't know. It's not bad. I just think it's, no, I think it's just too much color or too much of a different color. I think I just want to leave that there. So 
Go and take this out. Okay. All right, it was an idea. It wasn't a bad idea. Just, I think, uh, that's something I may have to play with a little bit more. But it also means I am now in desperate need of blue. Fortunately, because I have badly organized, I have blue elsewhere, so. So I might actually get to finish this wall without having to go back and uh, get a whole bunch of stuff from somebody else. Or go craft a bunch of stuff. Because that's no fun. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of extra stuff to clean out. But it's all right. It's okay. All right. Now, oops, that block needs, this little piece of stone needs to go. Okay, right, because stone is a thing. Well, sometimes you want it, often you don't, but this is definitely one of those times when I am not in need of stone. All right, so, hey, you, you go where you're supposed to go. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to have enough concrete to finish this side. Um, perhaps less so when I keep putting blocks in the wrong place, but... Okay. All right, that's, that's actually really interesting. <laughs> that, that does look kind of cool. This almost reminds me of a towel. Like a kitchen towel. It does kind of look like a kitchen towel. <laughs> All right, well, I, I can, I can get down with that. Now, what could be interesting here, too, would be to actually continue this pattern around this way. That might be a little bit too much, honestly, as I'm looking at this. Because that's a lot of, it's a lot of color, which isn't bad, but just by itself, I think that's going to be a little bit too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this wall up this way. Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that'll come across, fill in that wall. Okay, and this is going to then lead out to the garden path and whatever I decide to throw out into this castle fort thing over here. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's there. It looks cool, but it's just not a thing. All right, so we've got this wall going. It should be the guest bedroom. Uh, so, yeah, right, that's the guest house. That's, that's the mother-in-law suite right over there. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> nice. Welcome, Wolven. <laughs> With the evil laugh. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, it's... Uh, not a, also, thank you for those bits. It goes. Awesome. Yeah, so I was just put in this gate. Just filling in some walls a little bit. Still have... A lot more to do over here but yeah so far so good um yeah which is good i think when i get to it this is going to be the first town i build is this one over here 
first little neighborhood, you know, going in. So that'll be fun. As I'm starting to get an idea of where this, uh, where this castle goes and what it's doing. And honestly, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but it's here. And that's, uh, I guess that's not bad. Oh, man. So, the, the movie Mars Attacks is not good. Okay? Just uh, let me preface that. On the other hand, it has some really hilarious lines in it that almost make it worth watching from time to time. And that is one of my favorites is... Jack Nicholson, who's playing the, the president of the United States. And the Martians have just melted down Congress. Oh, man. Yeah, I, that's a good. I, I'm not sure is the, the right adjective there, but it's a great scene, though. The Martians melt down Congress. The president holds a press conference afterwards. I want to ensure the American people that we still have two branches of government working for you. And that's not bad. So, I mean, I'm all for a, a good, bad movie. Boy, that one doesn't even quite qualify for me. I mean, I love watching, like, Army of Darkness from time to time or others. But, boy, that one just doesn't quite hit that threshold of... I can't believe I'm watching this, and ooh, this was fun. I think I caught it early. I caught it on TV once, way back in the day. And I remember watching it because it had Natalie Portman in it. As the, I don't know, as the president's daughter, perhaps. I, I don't recall exactly. But. Yeah, it was... It was definitely a movie. I can I can say that with confidence. Okay. Really need to throw some more andesite into these walls, but But this is getting okay. Alright, so this wall's gonna slide down this way, and yeah. Alright, alright. So yeah. I said I'd I definitely like my share of bad movies, but man, that one just couldn't quite get there for me. But hey, I'm not going to tell anyone that they can't like it. You like this? You are wrong, and your whole life is wrong, and how dare you even be alive? No, that's stupid. That is dumb. Anyone who takes that approach to fandom is... They are wrong and stupid and really need to rethink their life choices. Had that problem with the Star Wars fandom. I love Star Wars, but for those people who's like, how dare you like the prequels or you like The Last Jedi or, you know, you can't be a real Star Wars fan and like that. It's like, eh, dude, get off your high tauntaun and uh, let people like what they like, man. All right, so let's see now. I have andesite. Actually, I have some in my inventory as well, which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, so one of these chests has andesite in it. It's this one. Boy, sh okay, Cal, you are asking for death. Just saying. Okay, so run run a little bit of brick out this way. Throw a little stone in there too for stone related reasons. But yeah, I remember seeing it the first time. It was like this movie is odd, and and there are parts of it. It's like okay, I I appreciate some of the satire here. I don't enjoy it, but I appreciate some of it. And the, the, what was it, 
little prissy uh Oh, it was a news reporter, I think it was, ends up with her having her head and her little pocket dog's head replaced. You know? Okay, I appreciate that satire. Again, I didn't... The, the movie does not encourage me to like it, but it does... Uh, it has its moments, you know? I may have to watch it again one of these days. I can't justify actually spending money to watch it again, so it probably won't happen. But, you know, it's uh, it's definitely a th Okay. Yeah. Boy, that would be a weird challenge, though, to uh, do the... You have to keep all of your misplaced blocks and just make them part of your build. That would be an, a really odd challenge. Okay, so I think I'm going to come back here with some, a lot more stone. And I'm going to come in with some andesite. I've got sort of a line of stone happening there, so I've got to. But given that this is right here by this hill, it does sort of make sense that there'd be a little bit more natural block placements here. No, we just carved this out and it's it's wonderful and glorious, right? I think I need to use a little bit less andesite in a few of those places, but it's all right. We got it. We got it. It's a thing. I don't know what type of thing. Probably probably some weird Susie and musical flying machine. which uh, could be fine, but. Okay, so we'll just come down this way, take this stuff out. All right, I think what I wanna do is let's bring some, some more stone around in here a little bit, just to, just to get this going here. I think that's going to be a good pattern. Throw a little bit of uh, andesite in there too, just to just to fill in the gaps. Okay, so this this will be good once it's in, and then I can do uh, a number of other things, I suppose. Hopefully, maybe I'll get started on the chapel. Just as I'm getting the rest of the walls in and stuff, it seems like a seems like a reasonable thing. I just need to. I kind of need to get some of these walls up, partly for my own safety. You know, I don't really need all the monsters wandering in from outside the walls now, and just complicating things, right? Not at all on my list of things that I need. Right? We already had the Skelly friends. Uh, they were uh, quickly dispatched. As was the Sudden Drop Creeper. That was uh, amusing too. So, you know. Okay, so stuff can drop on me from there, but at least on this side, Mostly okay. All right. Let's kind of sort of fill in this wall here a little bit. And let's see, how do I want to do this? I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and... I get too used to flying. I like it. I like being able to fly. If I set up a, a, a sub-world, I may have to just make flight available there, too. It is one of my goals. If I get enough uh, Patreon subs, then uh, 
that I will absolutely open up a world for subscribers to uh, to join on. Though I think if I were to build a community world, that's going to be turned off. But, you know. But a subscriber world, I could I could see having that on for subscribers. But I'm just I'm just sort of weird like that. Actually, let's Yeah, take out this diorite. I, I like diorite. I'm one of those weird people who thinks diorite is kind of cool. But uh, it's also sort of breaking up the line of the castle. So take that out. Okay, now I, I didn't realize there till the end that I was actually building with stone and not stone brick. So, you know, let's... Uh, We'll go with it. Okay. Okay, so take this out. Take this diorite out. Which again, it's not because it's diorite. I love you, diorite. You're a good friend. Okay, this block apparently just has to be there. I mean, it's wrong. The, the block does not quite understand things. But because after all, it is a block and has a very limited understanding of the world. But still. Okay, cool. So that's doing its clickiness. All right, so that wall's going there. Now, Oh, what do I want to do with the rest of this? And I think what I want to do is because I've got this giant wallow canvas here, I think I want to put one of the shields from out front over here. I think that would be a good a good thing. And then of course I have I think I might have enough concrete for it. Yeah, so if I put one of those those shields up out here, that'll kind of decorate this wall a little bit. Huh. That wall is solid color from this angle. And gray. Optical illusions are cool. Purple and blue. Gray. I, okay, that's having too much fun with that. Okay, yep, yeah, see, you come from this side. Look, it's that color. Until it's not, and then it's... Right, you just come from the sides. Right around here. Ooh, this is solid color, and ooh, it looks cool, and ooh, this gray block looks really out of place now. All right, so put the stone back. To put the put back the terracotta I just took out. There we go. And I've got a lot of extra stone from when I was building the thing, so. I don't know if I'm actually going to stick with stone floors, but for now, they're stone. All right. Actually, probably not. I think I'm going to replace them all with uh, spruce, but uh, spruce just seems like a good floor to use, you know? Well, that's going to look cool. So I was just thinking when I replace the, uh, take all that dirt out, replace it with a stone brick and just let that wall be there. That'll be cool. Anyway... Okay, so this definitely is going to go across there like that. All right, so let's go see what the uh, these front things look like. Because they're here and they're tall. All 
All right, so this guy is, how big is it? Concrete wise, one, two, can't fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's eleven blocks high. And then the uh, and it pushes into the wall. Okay, and then it sticks up from that blue. Is this one, two, three, four, five blocks above that? Okay. All right, cool. So, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run some some stone down here. I suppose what I should do is try to find the middle of this wall. That would probably be a plus, you know. <clears throat> and then let's go find some. I've got some. Yeah. I'm going to need some of that. And I think I use polished blackstone wall for that, so I'll have to polish up some of that. Or not polish it, but turn it into wall. And I do need some honeycomb blocks. Okay, that would be great. That really looks like it's in the middle. That could be fun. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it is even. So it's an even number. I think. So I can't center it quite right. I think I want to lean it to this side just a little bit. All right, so, so one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I think I want to put it right here. Right? Or do I want to slide it over? No, I want to put it here. Actually, right where this pillar is. Honestly, I think it's going to be the place to put it. And the reason I want to slide it over, I'm okay sliding it over to this side, is because of the angle of this other wall. I'm pointing to it, but you can't tell. So the idea is that... Uh, So the idea is to choke on my water. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Anyway, so the, so because this wall sort of angles off this way, it looks a little wider here than it is. So I can build this this way and, and do that. Oh, man. Cough, cough. Hackety hack. All right, so that's two, and then I get the stairs coming down and the fence. So let's do so stair, one, two, three blocks, I think, and then another stair. Okay, I can do that. Woohoo! I believe I can fly. I believe I can craft stone bricks. All right, now I'm just, now unfortunately most of these bricks actually are going to be coming out, but that's okay. So that'll go in there, one, two, three, and then uh, upside. That's upside down, but it needs to go the wrong, go the other direction. Okay, needs to go that way. And the same with this guy here. So it's one, two, two, three. And then it needs to point out that way. OK. 
Okay, cool. So now I can take this out, at least uh, part of it there. All right, so where does the blue start? That's the, the next question. Uh, I like this design, but I forgot how it works. And uh, it's been a few weeks since I built it last, uh, or a few days at least. All right, so the blue is level with that block. All right, cool. That I can do. So the block above the stair. So, and it's pushed into the wall. So I think it goes right there. Right, now let me just double check and make sure I'm doing this correctly because I'm probably wrong. Yeah, the blue is pushed in from the wall. So we've got a couple of layers of depth going on here. So, all right, so it's level with this block above the thing. Okay. And because I have totally forgotten how this thing looks, because I have the memory of a dead goldfish. All right, back and forth we go, because that's what's fun, running back and forth this, look at what you did. All right, so the, the whole thing, it's five blocks wide on the blue side. Yep, five, because I got the stuff in the middle. Okay, and that is in fact polished black stone wall. Not polished blackstone brick wall, polished blackstone wall. Okay, so five, and then this comes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we are counting on my memory here, but I'm, uh, you know, about 78% sure that is the correct thing. Okay, good. I've got the, uh, got the honeycomb on me, so this is a plus. Okay, um, one of these boxes has the, has my iron fence in it. That one. Okay, yeah, so that's got the iron bars, which is great. I should... Oh, I've already got the polished blackstone. I just need to turn it into to, uh, polished blackstone wall. Not the brick, just the wall. Okay, so now this comes down this way. Seven, eight, nine. I'll, I'm a little bit unsure of myself as is often the case. So I'm not finishing the bottom until I'm a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sure that that's actually what I want it to be. Or where I want it to be, perhaps, would be more accurate. Because unlike Visa, which uh, is not everywhere I want to be, so it's, I think that's, that just, something about that just feels wrong. What am I not remembering? Many things. Okay, no, that is right. There is lots of wall there. Okay, cool. All right, dude. I think I can build this, man. Totally, totally, dude. We're gonna do this. I don't know, my my surfer dude is translating into like really creepy guy, and I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know, are surfer dudes creepy guys? I for those of you who have hung around with surfer dudes, I'm fairly certain they're not. But uh Alright, 
that's gonna slide around this way. This it comes down like that. Do need to take out this section of wall because it's in the way. Okay, so that goes like that. <clears throat> now I have to drop oops, drop a block or two in the wrong place. That's okay. So that goes there, and goes there. Okay, so you know, it's just wrong. Okay, so I think I can say okay way too many times. All right, and then the iron bars go in here, <clears throat> just like that. Okay, now I need to get some stone brick stairs, but for now that's okay. <clears throat> Was that it? Just the, the two, or did it go further? Oh, actually, there should be a block. So it does go further, but there is a block. Okay, cool. I can... I can do this. I can even remember which is the button that makes me go up. I know. I know. It's impressive. But. Uh, okay. So. Gotta block there. Block there. Okay. Okay. And that's how that works. Did I drop another, like the brick or something? I'm not seeing it, so let's just pretend I didn't. Okay. So now, I think this is right. So now where's the next, where does the next wing start? That's the question on everybody's mind, or at least mine. I you know okay so basically yeah so the block starts there and then I stare up a couple of times okay okay I think I can do this it's a definite maybe and a perhaps but So this is all going to come down this way. All right. So now, oops, I think this comes up like this. Okay. And now with the stairs. Is that right? No, that's, that's not right. It's not... It's not, you know, this might be easier if I just screenshot it, but that's, at this point, I'm committed. Okay, so, brick, and then stair, stair, brick, stair. Okay, so brick, stair, stair, brick, stair. I, I think I can remember that. Can you remember brick, stair, brick, no. Stair, stair, brick, stair. <sighs> See? It's brick, stair, stair, brick, stair. Okay, so brick, stair, stair, no, I mean these, these, yes, but no. Okay, so brick, stair, stair, brick, stair, ha ha! Congratulations to me, I have remembered something. Goes in front of that. Okay, that's a brick. Stair. Stair. Brick and stair. Ta da! Today on Stair, Stair, Brick, Stair, we are going to brick and stair. Okay, I think it's just those two, and then we're back to stairs. I think it's just two more stairs, which is convenient because that's all I have. Do I have more stairs? No. Okay, so it is three, 
and the stairs in the last one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it. I think so. It's gonna be great. So it's it's three fences. The stairs come in there like that. And then it's another two wall. All right, cool. Okay, so let's get in here with some some more uh, of this lovely wall. Which I think I want to take bring that up just a little bit. I just want to I want to have a little bit more of that natural stone coming up this way. Okay. I have no idea what that's doing over there, but I bet it's not at all dangerous and everything's fine. Okay, and I think I want to grab another couple of uh, a couple of stacks of stone while I'm here. doesn't look at all creepy okay cool i guess that's a win it doesn't look at all creepy and congratulations to me for pretending it doesn't look creepy okay yeah it feels like there's something there's something the world wants me to see it just keeps popping out like hey you should look at this I'm just trying to put a little bit more natural uh, stone in here. I may redo that some part of that wall just because the way this stone is going in here like this, it's just looking better. Also, I should... Oh, I don't have any andesite on me. That's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and Fly like an eagle to sing, and other assorted songs from the from Space Jam that uh, I'm sure are relevant still. I don't know. LeBron James decided to make a Space Jam. I'm suppose it's his. Uh, see, I'm just like Michael Jordan, and see how awesome. Yeah. I, too, could make a Bugs Bunny movie. I don't know. That's probably being mean. But, uh, if LeBron James starts playing baseball, then we'll know. We'll know his... Michael Jordan, I wish I want to be like Mike thing has gone on a little too far. So we'll get this nice little section of wall in here. A few extra wall chunks. Set and it might be fun. Oops, that's that's just really wrong. Okay. You know, I'm I don't think I want to have a ruined section of town. I might have some slums or something. Where the I place this block in the wrong place challenge might uh, might become relevant, but I think this is not going to be the place for it. Okay, so clean up my mess. Okay, now I don't know what I want to do with that square that's there, or that rectangle. Rectangular polyhedron. But, you know, something. I should do something with it, but 
I could just leave it there too. So, you know. Sometimes you just have to do stuff with things. Let let that be a lesson. Sometimes you just have to do stuff with things. And uh, what the stuff and the things are might be uh, somewhat varied from situation to situation. But doing stuff with things, I think, is pretty much actually the way to get through life now that I think about it. How did you get out of that situation? Well, I did stuff with things. Awesome. How did you be become partner on Twitch? Well, I did stuff with things. Now, how did you become president? Well, I did stuff with things. Yeah, you know, I think it's just a general life lesson that can be applicable to just about everything. Except those times when you want to not do stuff with things. And, uh, you know, then it's just probably wrong. But I think for the most part, do stuff with things. Good life lesson, people. Today on What Did You Learn? Do stuff with things. Okay. I should take out a couple of these blocks. That row of stone brick was just there because I was trying to place out where the uh, wall was going to be. So, I think this is a I don't know this this one just feels like it needs to come down a little bit It'd be kind of long all right that's i'm sure that's gonna look fine actually it probably will but since part of this was a challenge to build with the terrain and by with i mean tear out all of and replace with my own thing. But, you know, that's that's what's going to happen over there, too. So I'm going to tear out that hill, replace it with another building, and put in a monster library. It's one of those things, like, I should probably stock up on stuff to build 18 million bookshelves. Which is definitely a lot of bookshelves. Probably too many. But can you really have too many books? Okay, other than the fact that it might be a little high. Um, actually, it is too high. I'm going to have to lower it. <sighs> I think I want to lower it down. At least one block, probably two. All right. Going down. You know, you ever have those moments where you realize you've just done it completely wrong? Yeah. Hi. Welcome to my world to, for this, uh, for the next couple of minutes. Okay, so the brick goes there. Okay. All right. So, yeah. And then the stairs. So everything comes down two blocks. So this comes down two blocks. That puts it right here. Yep, I got it. I got it. Eventually. Eventually, I will understand what I'm doing. It may not be right now, but it will eventually happen. Okay, and then that goes there. Right, and then this block goes down to... Two. All right. And... The Blue concrete's going to come down to, okay, just randomly place that in the wrong place too, because that's just how being wrong works. Mm, 
don't know why. I'm, I feel like I've been like super negative this stream. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the deal is. Okay, so that goes there. Now these guys. Uh, itchy face. All right. Eventually. Okay, so if I'm coming down two blocks, that means I think this needs to come out. All right, because the, the top block had been here, and now it's here. Up we go. There we go. There we go. Got it. We got it. Okay. <sighs> right. Right, friends. You know, I still think I'm up too high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's right. Okay. All right, so now all of these have to go down two blocks now. All right, so this first stair, it's going to go one, two, right there. Okay. All right, so this first stair, it's going to go, yeah, there pointing that way. Oh, so why does that feel off? It's because it is. Uh, not not that block. That <clears throat> my wing is crooked. Okay, it happens. You know, you gotta you gotta fix everything, not just the the parts you happen to be looking at at the time, but the whole thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and take stuff out now all right so the stair goes here stair stair brick stair and I need to move okay so take those out <clears throat> cool and now we place them back right here. And we go. Okay, so we get this going there. We take this out. Only one side at a time, so I can look at the other side and you know figure out what I did wrong, perhaps. And I think I just dropped a bunch of those stairs. I did. And by a bunch, I mean like one. But, you know, one and a bunch, it's the same thing, right? Sure it is. Sure it is. Okay, well. Okay, so let's see now what's happening over here. Yeah, I think that's going to work a lot better. All right, so this stair goes here, and then it's one, two, three. Somehow I ended up short a stair, I think. It, probably fell into the ocean. it might have. I can totally see that of happening, so. Okay, so that goes there. Yeah, one block, and then that way. Let's see. Hello, the squid steal it? If the squid stole my stair, it's going to die. Nope, these seem to be uh, 
them with the squid are cold, but... Aha. Uh -huh. Well, isn't this deep and spooky? Ooh. I could have all sorts of fun with that. Perhaps. Assuming I don't suffocate. But wouldn't it be cool to have like a underwater city windows looking out onto that trench? I think it would be cool. And that's what's important. Okay, so let's see. We need to drop another stair right there. Two, three. Yep, I did. I somehow ended up short a stair. It's not that big a deal. It just means I have to go craft one, and that's annoying. Okay, so that goes there. These come down here like this. Ah, all right, well, that's fine. Fortunately, I can just meander right here to this handy dandy stone cutter. Cut one stair. Yeah. Oh, and I need some stone brick stairs as well, but. Okay. Cool. So let's take out these couple of blocks that don't need to be here. All right. They're just there to mark where I was putting stuff. Okay. And then I'll grab some stone brick stairs to uh, fill in the corners of that rectangle. Okay. Those are stone stairs. It's almost the same thing. I'm going to grab those anyway, just because. Ah, good. It's like somewhere here I have these and I need not craft them, right? Is that how that works? Okay, so those can go back there. Stairs need to stay. Yes, they do. The stairs need to stay. That sounds like a, like a nursery rhyme. Right. What's the farmer in the dell where the cheese stands alone? Well, it's like the the stairs need to stay. All right. Cool. And when I get to the uh, long and tedious part of running the uh, the crenellations around the top, that should be fine. Okay, and then there's that wall. Okay, cool. So now comes this mighty beast. Yeah, all right. Okay, and we'll grab some stone too, just because it's... Oh yeah, this will be good. So let's... I want to bring more of this hill up the stone up this way. Let's see. Yeah. Just just run a bunch of it up here like this. Yeah, um Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Okay. And uh, let's Let's throw a little bit of stone out here, too, just to uh, fill this gap in here a little bit. I suppose having it look like a finger gun is probably not the way to go. Okay, so that goes there and there and there. So that comes out this way, and we'll just uh, start filling all of this stuff in. Yeah, see, this is going to look really good when this is when this is in. It'll have yeah, just sort of a fun little thing going. Though I think this is looking a little bit too lightning boltish, and I'm, this is not the place for a lightning bolt. 
there might be other places where a lightning bolt would be uh, the way to go, but this is not one of them. This is not the Palace of Zeus. And so, yeah. Let's just run a little bit more stone across this way, just to, just so it's not quite as uh, abrupt a change right there. don't have any cracked stone bricks on me, but that's okay. All right, so we'll get this in. And I don't know if I want to, if and how I want to decorate this side. I might, I might not, but I might. So we'll, we'll see. Right now I'm getting all this stone brick in. If I end up tearing it all out again, that's going to be annoying. Not horrific or anything like that, just annoying. You know how it goes. Right, you build all this cool stuff and then just realize, I want to do something that makes it better. And so you rip out part of it. Yeah, and that's okay. It really is. this line so this line of stone brick I was contemplating removing it but I think I'm gonna leave it and just let it be there you know also it gives me a little bit of a interesting reference point as well for uh, if I want to do something so part of what I was thinking is what if I were to run some uh, of the terracotta along the top here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Also, let's go restock. Ooh, I'm stone. The stone, the stone that I am. All right. Let's go. And hey, I successfully drank water without choking on it. So, win. I am winning. All right. Yeah, and I, I just don't know what I want to do with this, with this side here. I mean, it's kind of... I don't know, something. Okay, I guess that's where stone is going. Now part of it, I'm just, I'm going with the sort of, hey, I'm going really fast and the, the random placement of things will just help shape where stuff will, will end up being. Yeah, and that's, so that's kind of fun, right? So I think this will come up like this. It just sort of, just sort of bring itself up and around this way. And now it's getting to be dark too, so. I think this is going to be good. Yeah, that's, that'll work. All right, so let's go have a quick nap because, you know, it's dark and scary and I really don't need more things falling on me. I mean, you never know when some drop creeper is going to show up, you know. Some ninja skeleton will start shooting you from some vast distance. Okay, I suppose I should go pick that block up. 
I mean, it's not like I'm lacking, but you know, it's that whole waste not want not type thing, right? And I want it. I don't know, I just feel like this needs to be a little bit more. Sometimes it's hard to say where does it should this be more or less, whatever. I don't know. Okay, so this'll this'll slide up and around this way. We'll just have Yeah. Lots of stone. Lots of brick. Right, it just it just gives the walls a little more visual interest and without being too crazy, I guess. And throwing a couple of random bricks in the middle of that mess also gives it just a well, slightly more random, slightly more uh designed also it just it just looks cool so so i guess that's kind of what i'm going for i want it to look cool am i succeeding well you know some days okay so i want to bring this stone section down this way a little bit and i want it to come across this way some all right sure why not okay so I think this is doing okay I'm gonna bring a little bit of stone in this way too just just a couple of blocks I'm not gonna build a full blob over here just a few blocks to give it some a little bit of a break uh, now I want a Kit Kat anybody else out there want Kit Kats maybe it's just me but maybe I didn't eat enough for breakfast or I ate the right amount and I've been eating too much lately, and you know that's certainly a possibility. But Kit Kat sounds really good. Okay, let's let's bring a little bit of stone in here, just so it's not quite as quite as skinny. There, I was looking just a little bit too uh, a little bit too skinny, but. So we'll just, uh, ack! Yep, there's, there's an ack happening there. All right, this is almost good. Other than all the random blocks sticking out at, oops, at weird angles. It's doing fine. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and just brick all of that stuff up. Oh, man. So, yeah, so I've been in, enjoying WandaVision. That's, that show has been weird and fun, and it's also getting a little dark and creepy, which is kind of cool. I'm not super into, like, horror and dark and creepy and stuff, but there's definitely some form of weird creepiness happening in that show, and it's kind of cool. Take all of this fun right through here.
All right, well, that definitely looks like a wall. Cool. Now, I'm going to continue it across that way as well. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. I might stop it. Well, I was talking about building it a building across, so I think what I want to do is I want to build the wall to here. Okay. So this is going to come up this way. And the idea is that it's as the wall comes across, right, this castle is going to come across like that. Okay. Right, so I'll fill that in. And that'll be it. I might, I might sort of smooth this out just a little bit, but for the moment, it's pretty reasonable. Okay. This whole idea of clicking on the right thing is just, this is a, a challenge. It's too hard for me. Clicking on the right stuff is just, some of you might have mastered this skill, but I have not. And at this point in my life, I'm not sure I'm ever going to. Hashtag old man. But, uh, okay, so we'll just uh, slide that through here. Okay, cool. Yeah, putting a little bit of uh, something up here too. Probably an arch. I do have stairs on me. Well, that's convenient. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably the same width as the door, surprisingly enough. All right, so if that's the middle block, then let's take a stair there. And a stair there. Okay, let's try putting uh, stairs in the right place. Okay, that's the same place, and it was wrong. Okay, take this one out. And put one right there. Okay. Oh, I need some more stone. Hello, stone brick. I have come for you. I have, I have come for you, stone. To turn you into that which I desire. In this case, stone brick. <sighs> you know, sometimes you just have to make things be what you want them to be. All right, so let's bring this down this way a bit. Okay, I guess it's going all the way down here. It really wanted to get away from this arch, which, you know, sometimes I, I understand that. Sometimes you just got to get away from the arch. All right, so let's see. Bring this down that way. Slap in the stair. Let's move. And uh, looks like right here. Cool. Um, cool. I want to. I want to drop this down one. Okay, because what I want to do is let's see, take that out, put the stair there. Oops, there, but let's put it upside down, shall we? Let's shall. Uh, because I just want this the top of this arch to be just a little different. Okay. And that goes there, and this comes out. Is it just me or is it getting dark? Nope, it's not just me. So uh, I guess I should go inside and sleep. 
it's sleeping. It's a thing that, you know, people do. <sighs> All right. Now, do I have... I don't think I have any stone brick slabs. I should change that. Okay, so that's a furnace. You can tell from its distinctive fur. All right, so let's fly back up this way. Yeah, because I think what I want to do is maybe take this block out and put in a slab. So it's a little bit more, yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna bring these sides down here just a little bit. Okay, let's bring them down two blocks. Okay, yeah, that's, Bring it down a couple blocks more, and I'm going to end up playing with the uh, playing with things at the top a little bit. Okay. No, I do want to do one more. So basically, I'm going to be coming out of the wall here. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit better. Um little bit but ack okay so this needs to go up there like that okay okay I believe you there okay so that's gonna happen there so the next part of the arch uh, right there perhaps um, Maybe, though that might be a little low. Let's come up one. Okay, and now that was our uh, requisite upside down stair placed in the wrong way. Yeah, no, I was right the first time. I was, what do you know? I was right. I will celebrate this because it happens, you know, so often. All right. Yeah, I mean, other than the fact it's lopsided, I think this is uh, going to be okay. So that goes there. Okay, so that goes there. I have, well, I've actually succeeded in moving the arch down completely. That's what I've done. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but not quite what I wanted, but I think it's gonna actually work a little bit better. Let's move these ones up one block, and then I think that's going to be it. Okay. Oops. No. Okay. No, this comes out. Pick up all my scraps. So many scraps. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And I am going to be uh, filling in the top so you won't be able to see the sky. There'll just be floor up there. But yeah, that'll work. Plus, you know, I said I'll get in the, the kill holes and a bunch of those, those other fun things. But but the idea that, hey, the people on this wall can then come in and provide extra protection down this way. 
I don't have that over here, but you know, it's okay. It is seriously okay. All right, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So we've got the throne room here. The sort of a walkway that's going in that way. We'll put in a chapel of some sort here. This turned into a little bit of a tower, kind of. It's not really a tower, but. But the castle, the crenellations will come around here, fill that in, and yeah. Lots of fun. Uh, you know, I'll throw in some trap doors and things and say, okay, look, we have ways of making you dead. And don't you forget it. Okay, so, so that's it. So that part of the castle goes there. Now, uh, the plan was, obviously, the castle going around this way, or some walls of some sort going this way. Um, I'm building, this hill is going to become more more of the castle so if i build across i haven't quite figured out how i'm going to deal with all of this stuff yet but i do know that this dirt needs to go away just i want to bring this section of hillside down just a little bit okay so that's good that'll 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 work out okay. So now, so now we've got some grass and some other stuff that'll be there. Whew. Okay, cool. So that's there. So there's that castle. Um, and then I want to build up, because I kind of want to keep, keep things working with the hillside, but I think this section of building is fairly good. So I need to, let's take out this dirt. Um, okay, fill in the, so that'll all get filled in with stone and brick and all of that good stuff. Right, so we get some, some brick action coming in this way. Right, just, just like this. Uh, and by like this, I mean totally not like this. Okay. All right, so this will slide up here. Now, I hadn't intended to spend so much time on this uh, section of wall, but just as I'm here filling stuff in, I kind of just sort of ended up that way. So this will all slide in here like this. Okay. The other thing is this will provide at least marginal protection from the uh, the ravening hordes that sometimes come out and call themselves zombies. Okay, so that's going to come around this way and that way and some other way. All right, so I do have a little bit of stone, so I'll just throw some stone in there. A oh, little stone coming in this way wouldn't be a bad thing. Also, the falling off the wall, that might be considered a bad thing. this wall down this way. Take out this section of dirt. All right. Well, since I'm in the dirt removing uh, mode here, 
Go ahead and just remove dirt. I might leave that gravel there just for uh, just for the aesthetics. Take that out too. Um, do I want to take out? Yeah, let's take that whole section of dirt out. Cool. All right, so grab some sleep, grab a little bit more stone. Oh, you said I was kind of wanting to get to the chapel today, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. Which, uh, you know, that's fine, I guess. Put that in there. Don't need any of that dirt. Okay. Definitely want to stone brick most of that. Okay. Okay, so this is just going to come up this way. So the, the fun here is you'll kind of be able to see where the original hill was, which is sort of the point. All right, is this a super awesome castle? Eh, you know, depends on your definitions of super and awesome, but I think it's going to work. Said a lot of the fun, a lot of it's just, hey, what can I do to work with this? All right, so that gravel can come out. Now this ducks into the hillside, which uh, can be fun to potentially build into. This also then comes out here. So, so I'm leaving it for the moment, but I'm... I'm going to have to take out uh, or deal with that somehow. I don't know how. And obviously, this is mountainside happening over here. Okay, so we'll just uh, slide back and forth here like I actually know what we're doing. Uh, sometimes is true. Sometimes not so much. Like when I just placed that block there in the corner. That's not what's supposed to go there. Okay. Okay, so we'll just... slide all of this through here like this. Right, just run this through here and just have a grand old time, right? At least that's the plan. Oh, do I want to... I guess I could throw a little bit of stone here too. I mean, if there's a... Yeah, because there's not a lot of stone coming up this way. So let's, let's actually bring it out of that block there a little bit. Yeah, some of it's just decorative stone. It's like, oh yeah. Gives it a little a little break from the the monotony of the brick. In fact, I may just cut down a little bit of that wall there too to put in some more stone, but for now we'll we'll be good. The other thing that would be good to throw in here too, which I, again, I don't have any, would be uh, some mossy, some mossy stone brick in a few places, and some mossy cobblestone and a few others, you know. All of that fun. Okay, so that's not too bad, I guess. 
it is a castle. If it looks like it's got bricks in it, that's kind of okay. Of course, it would be nice if those blocks were in the right place, but... You know, you go with it. Oh. <sighs> nice we got a little bit of snow last night wasn't enough to actually stick to anything really but it was kind of nice all right so now this is the last place where i've got i've got wall and i think what i want to do is i is i want to bring some of this stone this way but i think i want to put in just a little bit more Oops, those are stairs, which could be fun in different situations, but this is not the one. I want to bring this stone out this way here a bit. Okay, because this way, what I want it to do is this is the section of the castle that I just cut out of the hill. So I want to have a little bit more of the stone represented here. So I'm going to follow this grass just a bit, just regular stone. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here with the, the brick. Oh, of uh, which I am out of. Probably going to need to get some more, but we'll start there. Okay, and I'm just going to fill in here. But we'll get this section of castle in. So I think what's going to end up happening story-wise is we'll have this. This was the first castle that they built, I think, is how this is going to work. This was the, they moved in, they settled in here. They built this castle. And then there are other, could be other castle buildings around here that were <coughs> built later different parts of town, you know, that type of thing. Right, this would be the the old town over here, perhaps. Right, we'll go out, get some other, right, so there'll be, the plan is to put build a little bit of a town over here, build some, build some sort of uh, town and city area over here. And these are all going to be their own little communities. So they're each going to have a, a blacksmith shop and a grocer and, you know, those types of things. You know, leather work. You know, all of those villager areas, they're all going to exist out here. But, you know, just not with, uh, probably not with villagers. I'm not going to turn this all into a villager trading area, though that would make some form of sense. This is the blacksmith district, and this is the library district, and this is the... Yeah, I'm not going to do that, but... Okay, but this is definitely... This is definitely starting to uh, shape up all right. I'm just throwing a little stone in here for the heck of it. This I would have finished the wall, but... Okay, cool. Well, that's definitely a wall. Okay. Okay, and let's bring this down that way. Preferably with a few more bricks than that. Well, there's some, there's some crack. That might be okay. Okay, so if we just throw those here, and that basically now that's the, that is the castle. So there's that. Now I can. 
I can carve in here and do that. I can then, if I really wanted to, um, and said I might do it anyway, is uh, extend this storage. So it comes out, maybe put the, the other row of, of boxes, chests starting about here. Right, and just run the water all the way around. Okay, and then just do the stone that way. Or so I've got a little bit of extra storage here. If I wanted to, to go that far. The other option is to uh, push this up higher and just run storage even higher. But I think for now that's okay. Right now, we'll, we'll see. If I need to build more, I'll build more. But for now, that's it. This beacon's going to move. All right, so let's take a look at where this uh, chapel's going to be. So I'm coming up here at the end of the stream, but let's get uh, let's get at least that much going. Okay, so I think it's going to be inside of this. So let's come in maybe uh, see maybe about there. Something along those lines. I mean, I could slide it over one more too. So what if I put it there? Okay. Right, silk touch. There, just replace it. That might work. Now, here's the fun part could continue the angle, which would be a little weird, right? Because I've got the one, because I've got this one angled wall, right? Which is going to be a challenge. I could pull that angle out of the wall over here a little bit, or I could just run this right across, because if I just run this this way, right? Just I just run this right across here like that. All right. That's not a bad deal. In fact, actually coming to here is fairly good because it connects up with the, uh, the stone part of the wall here. So that's, that's okay. Of course, now that turns that almost into a uh, symbol. Which is all right. I might, I said I may want to uh, work a little bit with that. Of course, the other thing I could do too is build another wall sticking out and put that same uh, shield pattern on this side of it, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, that's that's certainly an idea. And then build this up, put in some uh, seats and things, and you know, do all that. That could be, of course. Now I'm turning it into a movie theater. Uh, but no, turn that sort of into the sort of chapel performance hall. Perhaps I could just make it a theater. That would be okay too. Oh, you see a lot of theaters, they're sort of angled in, right? Partly, part of that is to allow more people to see. Part of that is to give more sound, right? For, for acoustic reasons. So that's, that's definitely a possibility. Okay. I'll have to think about that some and just see. I like the idea of building another shield on this side like what I've got on the other side here, right? For those of you who missed it, right? I've got these shields at places around the castle. So I could build one 
on the other side of this here. All right, just build that up right around that. I just to just pull that symbol inside the structure. And then yeah, I'd have yeah, that could be good. And then what I might do too is I might do a little bit more with this arch because it's kind of flush against the wall on this side. On the outside, it's it's kind of nice. On the inside, it's just sort of flush. So I could pull that out. And I might do, let's see. So it looks like this is the corner of this wall. Right. Okay, so if I leave this, what I could do is run, I'm not entirely sure this is how I want to do things, but look, floor planning. All right, just turn a, sort of turn this area, well, it just sort of be a big open area, I suppose. And just take this stuff out there. Okay, did I? I think I removed a torch or two there. Maybe not. Everything seems reasonably well lit. So okay. Cool. Well, that's a that's a plus. All right. I do sort of like that though, pulling that, putting that as the back wall of whatever this is. So turning it into a theater actually would, would be kind of fun. And then, cause yeah, I could run the, the seating back here and I could run the stairs where it widens if I wanted to. All right, take it that way. Yeah, that might work. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this area here, but, you know, obviously that's storage. But, uh, so I could just continue this. It does make a little bit of sense to continue this wall this way. Okay, something along these lines. Okay, and just take it. That area just blocks off and becomes storage. I could also block off coming from here. Right, and have, so I've got a, a room for something here. This is, this becomes my storage. Right, I could, feels like I should put something there. Don't know what, but something. That room over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, this room right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're coming in. Okay, this beacon won't be here when I'm done, but right, you come in, theater's there. You could have, you know, I could put a gift shop. Um, thank you for visiting the palace and the, the seat of the local tyrant, King Sticky Butt. Please get your commemorative honey block and... Uh, Yeah, so I could, you know, this just becomes a big waiting area and all sorts of just, I will have, you can see where the spruce is. This will come across up to a point here somewhere. In fact, if I brought it all the way over, I could build in the king's suite looking over the, the theater up at that level, right? You know, th that's the king's box. You know, the king can come out and watch all that fun stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to have to play with that some. But for now, I, that's, I think that's going to be a problem I leave to future me. Because current me, I think, needs to go do some adult-type stuff, like grocery shopping and 
lunch. You know, those those aspects of important life. Yeah, I. This is gonna be interesting. I'm I'm making this up as I go, but the idea that this would be a throne room and theater is just sort of odd. But okay, we'll go with it. That's fine. Totally go with it. Sure, why not? Okay. Fine. All right, well, I'm going to slip over here then, since this seems, uh, well, no, I'll drop here into my vault where I know it's safe and just bounce and bounce, and bounce, woohoo. High jump is cool. All right. Oh, but I do want to thank all of you for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun. Um, fire up those... And credits, maybe. Are they going to roll? Roll, credits, roll. No, no, I, I, I think that they are uh, maybe not going to do that. So, okay, fine. Don't do that. See if I care. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I do want to thank all of you for joining me today. Will it pop up my socials? That's the other question. No. Man, it is it is definitely going to be one of those days, isn't it? Where uh, it just doesn't want to do anything anymore. Thank you, bot, for no longer talking to OBS. That's all right. You can follow me anyway at Music for Gaming on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And join my Patreon at patreon.com slash musicforgaming because uh, that's all fun and exciting. Uh, I would talk about going to raid somebody but with just the couple of us it's hardly worth the effort and it's almost become spammy so instead you could think about other cool people that you could bring to the stream because yay but i'll be streaming again on tuesday starting at 6 p.m mountain daylight time or mountain standard time excuse me 6 p.m mountain standard time and uh, i maybe will actually get started on that chapel theater thing so uh yeah so until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off.